Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Trend Micro has recently uncovered an active exploitation, which is listed as CVE 20233602.5. And this is also the reason why I always say on the channel, and you must probably heard me say this a thousand times, always make sure that your web browsers are up to date and also make sure that your Windows OS, Windows 10 and Windows 11 as an example, are always up to date with the latest security patches and quality updates. Now Trend Micro says that this vulnerability infects uh, users with a previously unknown strain of malware called Feme Drone Stealer. Now I don't know if that's pronounced Feme Drone or Fem Drone, but I'm just going to call it Feme Drone for the purposes of today's video. Now what this um, exploit does according to Trend Micro, is they say it targets web browsers and data from cryptocurrency wallets and messaging apps such as Telegram, Steam and Discord. And over and above that, it also takes screenshots and gathers system information regarding hardware, location and operating system details. And then after this, um, once the data has been harvested, it's then sent to the attackers via Telegram or their command and control server. So basically their cloud server. And as mentioned, this is why I always say check that you are up to date. Now, the good news is before I start getting a whole lot of comments um, on the channel, the good news is, is that Microsoft actually patched this in Windows with the November Patch Tuesday security updates that rolled out last year in 2023 for Windows 10 and Windows 11. So if we head to our update history, here we go, the 15th of November in my region. So that's either the 14th, 15th of November, depending on your region and for windows 11 the update was kb5032190 and obviously uh, the same and equivalent security update patch tuesday update would apply for windows 10 that rolled out um, on the same date so the good news is this has already been patched but i'm just bringing it to your attention because um, i know that some of you may be interested in this now just to break this down so you can just understand this a little bit better um this exploit was actively bypassing uh, the Windows Defender smart screen in Windows 10 and Windows 11. And this theme drone stealer was data harvesting a lot of uh, different data across different platforms, which uh, Trend Micro has broken down into a nice little list. And just to go through this quickly, if you would be interested, basically um, it's affecting Chromium-based web browsers such as Google Chrome, Brave, Edge, Vivaldi, Opera, and so on. And before you say, yes, it's okay, I'm using a Firefox web browser, um, it's you're not okay, we'll get to that a little bit later. Now, for the Chromium-based web browsers, um, apparently the malware harvests data, including passwords, cookies, and autofill information stored in apps. Um, it also extracts files from various cryptocurrency wallet applications. And it also extracts authentication tokens from the Discord application, enabling unauthorized access to the user's account. And if you are using File Grabber, the malware uses this service to gather user files from designated folders such as Documents and Desktop. Um, Theme Drone also captures FTP connection details and credentials from FileZilla. The malware targets Gecko-based uh, browsers. Um, for user data extraction. So that's why I said Firefox is not excluded from this. And it is a Gecko-based uh, browser, as many of you will know. So it also targets the Gecko-based browsers for user data extraction. And it also collects extensive system details, including hardware specs, geolocation, and operating system information, and takes screenshots, as mentioned. The Theme Drone accesses files related to the Steam gaming platform, and if you are also using Telegram, the malware extracts user data from the installation directory, specifically targeting authentication-related files. So that's just a list and a breakdown of what this um, actual malware um, actually targets and exploits. Now, as mentioned, um, how it does this is it bypasses the Windows Defender smart screen. And then avoids detection, which means it then can get Im embedded in your system. But as mentioned, the good news, um, if you are concerned, is you actually have nothing to worry about. If your browsers are fully patched and up to date, and as mentioned, if your 
Windows 10 and Windows 11 OSs are also fully patched and up to date. You have nothing to worry about, but just bringing it to your attention. And this is also the reason why I say, as mentioned at the start of this video, I always say make sure that your Windows operating system is fully patched and make sure that your web browsers are always up to date. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.